counted the number of times that you actually cross the green boundary. Yeah, so at the end of the day, once I'm done doing this job, let's just throw down some there without thinking about it too hard. Yeah. And, and then I can count two. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Oh, look at that. 30. 30. Okay. And then we do the vertical weights, uh, vertical one. Again, a random line. You don't have to. Do it in a good quality location. I wouldn't say quite random. Oh, we'll zoom out. How do you define quality then? That would be uh, bias. Some, so occasionally, some one edge of the photo might be a little bit more blurry yeah. than the other, and so I would recommend taking it on the non-blurry side as all yeah. I mean. But yes, random otherwise, yes. And so we'll do a vertical line and zoom back in again there to do the same thing. Tick marks, whoops. Tick marks right. at every grain boundary. You get the idea. Yeah. So grain boundaries are wherever you cross a grain that is white to gray or gray to black or white to black, right? And also look at the geometry. Sometimes the geometry can tell you if you're crossing a grain, but there might not be a color change or shade change. For instance, in, I can get it, but somewhere around here, might be a little bit difficult to say what you have there. But just looking at the pattern, you would be able to estimate the grain, where the grain boundaries are. Or perhaps this one is a better example. Yeah. It, it, this would not be one grain, even though it looks all the same color, because it is a very elongated thing. And so my grains actually are, uh, I can see one grain there. You can kind of see that little grain boundary running along right there as well, right? So there's kind of another grain right there, and another one there, yeah. and another one there. That's right. Right? So do your best. It doesn't need to be 100% perfect. But Mal and I want to see this marked up image as part of the report at the end of the day yeah. uh, to show that you did do the work and did do the count. And as long as it looks reasonable, good enough for us. OK, now we're going to tell you how to do your uh, uh, lab report in the next video.